Now, from the nation's capital, here's the Pentagon Channel's ATS in brief. Do you believe in miracles? Well, it is the season for them. If you don't, the soldier you're about to meet just might change your mind. With only one good leg, he's experiencing the holiday season at its very essence. And here's Michelle Michael with the story. Pitching the mail is specialist David Downing's job. There's no place he'd rather be this time of year. He knows it could be worse. I can smell the gunpowder from the rocket. And I mean, I just sit there remember thinking, you know, I was like, this time is my number is up. It happened two years ago this Christmas. Insurgents fired a rocket propelled grenade that nearly killed him while he was on a mission in Samara, Iraq. I, I'm just lucky, you know, that there's somebody out there that was looking out for me, so. His mission now, Operation Army Santa, a program he created to send Christmas to soldiers in Iraq. And sometimes, you know, something like this, you know, getting injured will open up your eyes, you know, and make you see the, you know, a brighter side of life. The soldier who saved Christmas. You can see more of Specialist David Downing's Christmas story on Around the Services at pentagonchannel.mil. Around the Services, weekdays on the Pentagon Channel. The holiday season is a bit brighter and greener this year for thousands of troops. We're talking real Christmas trees. For the second year in a row, the National Christmas Tree Association organized a drive called Trees for Troops. Farmers from 27 states together donated more than 11,000 trees to active duty service members around the world. There is somebody that cares about this, about them, and uh, we appreciate what they're doing, and this is a small token uh, that we can show them of our appreciation. We're really happy to be able to help out our troops uh, around the world and in this country because they're dedicating their lives to us. It's the least we can do to contribute and hopefully uh, bring a little joy to some of the uh, military personnel that are in bases this year instead of being with their family. Of course, Christmas trees aren't complete without ornaments, and that's the contribution dozens of children made. They sent handmade ornaments to the troops. Defense Secretary Robert Gates had breakfast with U.S. soldiers in Iraq Thursday, part of his efforts to gain more first-hand knowledge of the situation on the ground. The military will serve up a lot of Christmas dinners around the world this week. So what does it take to feed the force in Iraq and Kuwait around the holidays? We talked to a food service regional manager at Camp Liberty, Iraq, about the hefty offerings of the season. There was a total of 103 orders placed uh, from Iraq and Kuwait. There's 90 dining facilities here in Iraq and 13 in Kuwait. Uh, total was about $3.6 million just for the Christmas meal alone. Uh, it was about 73,000 pounds of uh, ribeye, 98,000 pounds of ham, 160,000 pounds of turkey, breast, and thigh, and 81,000 pounds of shrimp cocktail. Uh, they're the high five items that are being served. And about 22,000 pies of six different types of pies throughout the theater will be served. This is the second year the Pentagon Channel will present Mannheim Steamrollers Christmas Live. It's a Christmas present from the group to service members around the world. Here's a sample. Back in 1979, a friend of mine, and I was in high school at the time, was listening to some music when I went over to his house and I asked him what kind of music it was and he told me it was fresh air from Mannheim Steamroller and that he would listen to it while he was studying because it was just music, there was no vocals. And I liked it and so I started purchasing the music and then a couple years later I met Carol Davis, which was Chip's wife at the time and she had invited myself and the family members to come up to their studio that they have in Omaha, Nebraska. Colonel Linder uh, with the U.S. Army and I go back almost 20 years and uh, he's been a big friend of Mannheim Steamroller and every time we play in a city near where he's at he comes to the show and he helped put together the idea for doing the special presentation.
we were thinking about trying to see if they could come to the Pentagon and actually play in the courtyard of the Pentagon, but the logistics were a little too difficult. And it dawned on me, hey, they've already filmed the concert, wouldn't it be neat if the Pentagon Channel could broadcast this concert so that the troops, especially those deployed overseas, could have a touch of home with the Christmas music and uh, to try to brighten up their day. All of us at Mannheim Steamroller are very appreciative of what all of the American service people do for all of us here. And we wanted to have an opportunity to say thank you and share what we do best. Check pentagonchannel.mil for airtimes. For the Pentagon Channel, I'm Marine Staff Sergeant Raina Barnett.